thing on? How's my hair? Please introduce yourself. My name is Rachel Whitaker. I'm 28 years old. Where do you live, Mrs. Whitaker? I live in Baxter, South Carolina. Who do you live with? I live with my two kids, Emma and Josh, and my husband, Kenny. He, he lives there, but... What happened to your husband, Mrs. Whitaker? He died. When did he die? Three days ago, on Monday. Mrs. Whitaker, what did you do on Monday? I made dinner for Kenny. I really wanted him to have something special. I was making steaks and potatoes. He hadn't been happy for a while. Because when he's not happy... What does he do when he's not happy? He hits me. How often does your husband hit you, Mrs. Whitaker? Every day. Did he hit the children? No. I send them to their room, so all his attention was on me. When your husband gets like this, where did he hit you? Anywhere he could. My head, my face, my arms, my back. I tried to get away, but it would just make him angrier. And then he'd start kicking. Mrs. Whitaker, where do your husband kick you? In my chest, my stomach, my legs. Uh, so I, I try not to run. Just let him get his anger out. And over with. One time he beat me so bad I nearly died. My face was black and blue from all the bruises. I couldn't go out for weeks. Did you go out a lot? Oh, I was allowed to go to, to the grocery store and take the kids to school. Um, he picked them up, but if I did anything else, can you get real mad? Did your children see the bruises? Yes. What did they say about it? Nothing. I think they just thought that it was normal. Did you think it was normal? Yes. And no. I, I didn't want it to be normal. Mrs. Whitaker, after one of these beatings, did you ever go to the hospital or report your husband's violence to the police? No, of course not. Kenny told me that if I ever told anybody about his mistakes, um, he would kill me or our children. Is that what he called the beatings? Mistakes? Yes, but he, he was always sorry for his mistakes. One time, he uh, was so sweet. He bought me two dozen roses. And uh, another time, he got me a box of chocolates. <laughs> and he even helped me clean up after I was bleeding. How often did you bleed? Every day. Mrs. Whitaker? I told you, call me a rage. Everybody does. Mrs. Whitaker, why do you think your husband wasn't happy that day? Kenny lost his job. He'd been out of work for weeks. He tried looking for another one, but uh, nothing came up. So on Monday you had dinner? Oh, I didn't eat. Why not? 
Can you hear the stakes on the floor? Why did you do that? Because it wasn't the way that he liked it, you see. Kenny had to have his steak a particular way. And I don't think that I cooked it properly that day. I think I just left it in the pan for a little bit too long. And Kenny gets real particular about his food. What did he do after he threw the steaks on the floor? He beat me. He was angry. He beat me and he, he didn't stop. He couldn't stop. He wouldn't stop. What did you do about it? I tried to protect myself. <laughs> Put my arms up any way that I could. Protect my face. I was on the kitchen floor. I was crawling on all fours trying to get away. He pulled me back by my hair. He said that he was going to hurt the children. I'd never let him hurt the children. Ever. So when he came at me again, I was in the broom closet. I opened it. Grabbed the first thing I could find. And it was the axe. And I hit him with it. I hit him and I didn't stop. I couldn't stop. He fell hard to the floor and I didn't stop. I killed my husband. Oh, Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> Can we do this again? My makeup must have been awful.